So there's like the big three to five, if you will, of decision making regarding uh, children and parental responsibilities. The first big one is medical decision making. Examples of this, um, one parent, you know, the parents have to agree that uh, the child will be vaccinated. If they don't agree, then that's a dispute, right? Um, uh, uh, procedures with a dentist, uh, mental health, um, therapy. So that's really under the medical decision-making um, realm. Then there's religion. Um, is the child going to be raised religious? Uh, and what religion is going to be practiced? What if both parties have different religions? All right, so that's, that's another area of that. Then the third one is education. So the court cannot order a child to attend a certain school or a certain school district. The court can, however, award sole decision-making to one parent. There's other, other two aspects that come into play are extracurricular activities um, and recreational activities, okay? So these are the, the, the areas that the parties have to agree on. If there are disputes with that and you have joint decision-making, then you can go to court, seek to have sole decision-making and, and with respect to that realm or that area, and you've got to have a good argument as to why. Usually it's going to be an endangerment standard. Um, but this is why it's really, really, really important to have a solid parenting plan that outlines the rights and responsibilities of every single issue for the parents. If you don't have that, then you're going to be dealing with ambiguity and it's just not a good place to be.